Hey everybody, Jason here with GD&T Basics. Today on the video question line, we're going to be covering a student's question on surface finish and flatness. Uh, specifically, the question was, I have a query that you've used both surface finish as well as flatness symbol on the same surface, which was data A. But these define the same thing, one at a micro level and the other at a macro level. Is it okay to use them together? So the short answer is yes, you can use them together. So if we have a surface that we want to machine, right? If we want to machine it down to a certain surface finish, um, we can have it defined, that surface finish defined, as well as hold that same surface to a certain amount of flatness. And one would not be overriding the other. Um, to start understanding this though, let's take a look at what surface finish is. Um, for those of you that have never seen these symbols on a drawing, um, these are symbols we can put on a drawing similar to weld symbols or um, callouts that tell us the level, right? The level of finish requirement. Um, many manufacturing processes result in different surface finishes. So something rough like flame cutting or um, hot rolling or a sand cast is going to result in a rough finish. Think of like a sandpaper rough, right? It's going to be it's going to be a rough finish. Um, whereas some other manufacturing processes such as polishing or lapping um, or honing are gonna result in generally smoother uh, finishes. Think of something like your, your bathroom mirror, right? It's gonna be a lot smoother than sandpaper. So there's varying degrees from rough to smooth, right? Um, and we, we give those a value and those values can be compared with these um, symbols to tell us you know, what surfaces require certain surface finishes. We go over this in much more detail in our um, print reading class to, 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 to note how these symbols are put on a drawing and what they mean, but generally they're just telling us when you do a manufacturing process on this surface, be sure to select the one that's going to result in a certain level of finish that we have de designated. Um, now we can add other features to these symbols to tell us that machining is required. You have to machine the surface or machining cannot be um, allowed on this surface. So there's plenty of ways to, to modify these symbols to, to redirect your meaning um, to the interpreter. But just generally these symbols are telling us what that surface finish has to be for that specific surface. Now to the other side of this, this question is, can you use that with flatness? Well, we can add a flatness call out to a surface and say this has to have flatness of 10 thousands as well as this surface must have a certain level of surface finish, right? So what is flatness? For those of you that haven't seen flatness, flatness is just telling us this surface, the elements of this surface, has to remain between two parallel planes. So we can't have the surface start doing this, right? We can't have it wave. If it, if it goes outside of the tolerance zone, it fails. But we can tell that this surface is perfectly flat. However, it's not parallel at all, right? If this, is, if this is the ground and we're holding how parallel that table is to the ground, it fails miserably on parallelism. But this table seems to be perfectly flat, right? So we have a flatness and we can have a surface finish. The difference between the two is exactly like you mentioned in the question. There's a micro level and a macro level. So if we zoom in on this surface, right? If we zoom in on this, this surface here, it probably looks something like this all the way up, right? And there's some level of surface finish that if we took a profilometer and checked how irregular that surface finish is, we would know probably what manufactured that surface. And what the profilometer actually does is if there is any sort of waviness or lack of flatness to that surface, what it'll do is flatten this out it'll it'll use an algorithm to get rid of the high points here and the high points here so it'll actually flatten that straight out so that it can compare the high points to the low points without taking into account these macro levels so a profilometer will take out the flatness actually it won't even notice the difference between this high point and this low point here it's only taking into account the high and low points at a micro level um, so flatness and surface finish are two different things. One will not cover the other, right? So obviously if you have massive waves like this, it's going to fail flatness, right? Regardless of what the surface finish is doing. So that is a um, brief overview of flatness and surface finishes. Uh, again, this is a very common question we get from our students. Two different things. Yes, you can put them both on the same surface, 
perfectly fine, happens all the time in the industry. Um, one's just controlling the macro level of um, waviness or form air that surface can have. The other one's controlling the micro level, the surface, how smooth, how polished, or how gritty is that surface going to be. Our goal is to be your best source for gd and information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand gd and on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our gd and community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our gd and and print reading quizzes. Download helpful charts and access articles written by our training experts.